Police have a police dog. Come out now or I'll send the dog. Dog's going to find you and bite you. Last chance. Come out now or I'll send the dog. Dog is going to find you. <laughs> My name is Christopher Arian. I'm a deputy with the Genesee County Sheriff's Office, and I've been assigned to the K-9 unit for six years. I've trained two dogs and currently working with K-9 Frankie. Frankie is a three-year-old Belgian Malinois. He was imported from Holland about a year ago. Uh, he turned three this month. He just had a birthday. And he's trained in general patrol. He'll do tracking. He'll find articles, narcotics work, uh, bite work protection, apprehension. In order to be a good canine officer, you have to not think so much about yourself and how you see the world. Uh, you have to look at the world as a police officer, but also look at the world the way a dog sees the world. And those two things can be very different. And you have to understand the environment the way a dog would understand it, and that's largely with their nose. Not so much their eyes and ears like we do with humans, but uh, understand the environment and what they're asked to do and how they incorporate their nose in, into that. You also have to be physically fit. Uh, the rigors of the job are very demanding. You'll attach yourself to a 60-pound wild animal with a long leash and go out in the middle of the night into the darkness, into uneven terrain, and up and down hills and through creeks and wherever the dog takes you. You have to be physically ready to do that. What we're about to see is a canine article search. So the dog has been trained to go out and search a large area, use his nose to find anything that may have been dropped and has fresh human odor on it. So it could be something obvious like a, a knife or a gun, uh, but anything that may have been dropped by someone in the area recently, the dog will go out and give a distinct alert on that item. What we're now gonna see is a building search. So we can release the dog into a building to find a hidden person or persons. This is the police. I have a police dog. Come out now or I'll send the dog. The dog is going to find you and bite you. Last chance. Come out now or I'll send the dog. The dog is going to find you and bite you. When the dog finds that person with their nose, uh, they could be behind a door, they could be inside of something, they could be out in the open. But when the dog finds that person, they'll give a distinct alert. They will sit and bark. If that person tries to hurt the dog or run away from the dog, uh, the dog may bite them. What we're gonna see now is a drug search. So the canine has been, tra has been trained to go out look for specific narcotic odors. When he locates those odors, he'll get as close as he can to them, and then he provides a passive alert. A passive alert being that he will stop, look at the odor, and wait for his reward. Someone that would want to do this as part of their career should obviously first establish a good track record as, as a law enforcement officer and do those little things right and uh, understand the job of being a police officer first and learn as much as you can about dogs, canines, canine behavior, um, what makes them think, how they view the world, what they're looking at and, and just get inside their head because you have to incorporate those two things. But just always be learning, always be inquisitive. Be critical of yourself. Always go back and look and see where you could do things better and, and have made mistakes and how you can improve.